now we shall do the problem regarding a pentagonal pyramid so draw the projections of a pentagonal pyramid 30 mm side and axis 60 mm long when it is resting on one of its base edges on hp which makes 45 degree with vp the axis of the pyramid is inclined 30 degree with hp so here the pyramid is resting on one of its base edges on hp and this base edge is making an angle of 45 degree with vp okay so this 45 degree with vp is phi phi is for base edge and that is 45 degree and again the axis of the pyramid is inclined 30 degree with hp so axis is making an angle of 30 degree with hp so theta value is 30 and it is for the axis so here we have got two inclination so the first decision that we have to take is which is to be applied first with respect to the solid is it theta or phi for that we will be referring our order of preference so as per the order of preference the first preference the preference is to be given for the axis first preference is for the face but here we don't have an inclination with respect to face but we have an inclination with respect to the axis and with respect to the base edge so the inclination that is with respect to the axis must be taken first so theta must be taken first and inclination with respect to the base edge must be taken second that is phi must be taken second so as we have to give theta first theta is the inclination with respect to the horizontal plane so the view that is on the horizontal plane that is top view so the base shape must be drawn in the top view that is why i have drawn it as the first diagram so after drawing the top view then we will be proceeding to the front view so this is diagram number 1 and this is diagram number 2 now the next step is we have to apply angle theta so theta is for the axis which is 30 degree and we have to reconstruct diagram number 2 to the side as diagram number 3 so here we have to give an inclination of 30 degree for the axis so as the axis p dash o dash and the base as they are perpendicular if you are drawing the base at an angle of 60 degree that is 90 minus 30 is 60 so if you are drawing the base at an angle of 30 degree 60 degree with respect to the xy line automatically axis will be at an angle of 30 degree with respect to the horizontal plane so we shall do the reconstruction process so after some distance so we shall measure the length of the base it is approximately some 46 so i'm taking some uh, 46 plus maybe some 56 is enough so after some 56 and just marking a point here i'm taking an angle of 60 degree so my plan is to reconstruct the corresponding diagram number 2 so 60 degree i'm drawing a thin line here i am going to fit this base to this particular 60 degree line so this is 46 so on this side it is d dash c dash on this end it is d dash c dash and on this extreme it is a dash and we shall mark o dash and b dash e dash using compass so this distance is to o dash so this is o dash and the next one is b dash e dash and this is b dash e dash okay so i have uh, in the first set of diagrams i have made the base edges on the right hand side of this base shape this is because when you are tilting the solid to the right hand side it must be resting on a base edge 
and that base head is CD. So that is why I have drawn the base head on the right hand side. So here presently the diagram is resting on one of its base edges which is D dash C dash. Now we shall draw the axis. So the axis is again having a height of 60 mm. So this point is P dash and we shall draw the outline. So this completes diagram number 3 and this is the outline of the diagram number 3 we have to add this edge also. So after obtaining diagram number 3, here the axis is making an angle of 30 degree with respect to the horizontal plane. So this angle is 30 degrees. Now we shall obtain diagram number 4. Diagram number 4 is obtained by extending projectors from present, front view and previous stop. We shall extend projectors from the previous topic that is diagram number 1. We shall mark various points. So this is point P. So this is projector of P and this is also projector of P. Next is D dash C dash. So this is D and this is also D. This is C and this is C. Now it is O. Next is B. E. Next is A. So we obtain the various base corners, apex and center of the base. Now we shall draw the outline starting from the extreme leftmost end. So starting from A, A to B, then from B, it is BP, then from P it is PE. Then from E it is again A. So this completes the outline of the top view. Next step is finding out invisible corners. So in order to find out invisible corners we will be observing this front view. We are observing the front view. On the extreme left we are having A dash and on the extreme right we are having P dash. So we are having a line which is connecting A dash and P dash. So below this line and between the XY line we have got D dash, C dash, O dash, 
B dash A dash. So all these points may be invisible in the top view if they are not a part of the outline. So we shall check it one by one. So here B and D, B and D they are a part of the outline so it cannot be treated as invisible. O, O is the center of the base so this is invisible but this is only an invisible point it is not an invisible corner so we don't have invisible edges from O. Next is D dash and C dash, D and C, here it is D. So D and C they are not part, uh, not a part of the outline. So C will be invisible and D also is invisible. So if C is invisible, three edges from C also will be invisible and if D is invisible, three edges from D also will be invisible. So for finding out those edges, we shall come to diagram number one. So first we shall do with C. So from C we are having BC, CD and PC. These are the edges which are uh, inclusive of point C or corner C. We shall draw those invisible edges. So BC. CD and CP. Next it is point D. So from D it is DC. Already you have drawn DC here. Then ED and PD. So ED. And here it is PD. So we have done with all the invisible edges. Now we shall draw the other edges. So all the base edges are drawn here A, B, B, C, C, D, T, E, and A, E. So we need not draw any more base edges. We shall check about the slanting edges. So P, A. Here we have not drawn P, A. So what is the visibility of PA? PA is actually crossing a confirmed hidden line. So when we are drawing this edge, it will be definitely visible. Next is PB. PB is already drawn here. PC is here. PD is here. And PE is also here. So we have done with all the slanting edges also. Here PO is the axis which is to be represented as a chain thin line but here already through this uh, we are having our slanting edge PA so we are not able to represent it. So next is we have to apply angle phi for the base edge. So we have to reconstruct this diagram at an angle of 45 degree for the base edge on which it is resting. So the base edge on which it is resting is DC. So this is to be inclined at an angle of 45 degrees. So, we shall take an angle of 45 degrees. Draw a thin line. Then fit this base edge DC to this 45 degree incline line. So what will be the length of this base edge as it is resting on the horizontal plane it will be definitely having its true length which is 30 m. So I am going to fit it to this corresponding 45 degree line. So be Now itself I am marking the center of this line. Now I am drawing this line which is PA. Okay, so I am measuring this line. This line is totally around some 65. Here it is uh, 23. So from here I am taking a measurement of 23. So this point will be A and totally it is 65. So the 
this point it is P and this is A this is C this is D now how to obtain point O, B and E I am measuring the distance of uh, O with respect to this base head. This is around some 9. So this point will be O. Then BC, sorry, BE, and there is a line joining BE and this slanting its PA. So these two lines are actually perpendicular to each other. I am going to construct this line which is connecting B and D. So this line and this line are perpendicular to each other. First I am measuring the length of this line with respect to the base edge. So this is around some 14. So at a distance of 14 and I am just marking a point here and from this point I am drawing a perpendicular line a thin line and I am measuring the distance of E with respect to this line and measuring the distance of B also with respect to the, this line so as you notice these two measurements are almost the same that is the distance of B with respect to this line and the distance of E with respect to this line they will be the same so let us measure it this is around 25 approximately it is around 25 so I am taking 25 so this point is B and here also I am taking 25 this point is E so we obtained all the points now we shall draw the outline starting from A so A to B B to P, P to E, then it is A to E. All the these two diagrams are actually identical, only difference is in the inclination of 45 degree for the base edge. So all the edges which are visible here will be still visible here and all the edges which are invisible here will be still invisible here. So the reconstruction is over. This angle is 45. We shall obtain the last diagram. So here we need to draw one more base uh, slanting edge. Now in order to obtain diagram number six, we have to extend projectors on the present top view and previous one.
which are mark points so this is p dash next it is c this is c dash so c dash and c dash next it is b next one it is o next is d d is on the base next it is a the last one it is e dash and we shall draw the outline starting from e so starting from e e to a then it is from a to p then it is from p to c then c to d then it is from d to e so this forms the outline of the present front view so next step is finding out invisible corners so in order to find out invisible corners we have to utilize the present top view we consider the extreme left it is e and on the extreme right we are having point p so already we are having a line which is joining p and e so between this line p e and between the x y line we have got some points so these points they may be invisible in the front view if they are not a part of the outline so let us take it one by one so this is point d d is a part of the outline so we are not treating it as invisible c c is a part of the outline again it is not treated as invisible then a a is a part of the outline so we are not treating it as invisible o is the center of the base it is not a corner so we shall mark it as invisible and as it is not a corner we don't have edges from this point o next is b so b is not a part of the outline so definitely this point will be invisible in the corresponding front view now from an invisible edge from sorry from an invisible corner usually we will be having three invisible edges so we shall check out which all are these edges so for that we shall come to the base shape so here this is corner b so ab will be invisible bc will be invisible and pb also will be invisible so ab is invisible then bc is invisible then pb is also invisible so we have done with all the invisible edges so we have also done with all the base edges ab bc cd de and ea and we shall check with the slanting edges so pa is already there pb is there pc is there pd is not there so what about the visibility of pd when you are trying to draw pd it is actually crossing this confirmed hidden line so definitely this will be visible this landing edge will be visible so this is visible next is p so when you are drawing p also it is crossing a confirmed hidden line so this will be also visible The last step is drawing the axis connecting P and O. So connecting P and O, we shall draw the axis. Axis is a chain thin line. Now the next is dimensioning process. So we started with diagram number one and we this is the base shape then we proceeded to diagram number two 
and from 2 to 3 it is a reconstruction by applying angle theta for the axis. Then from 3 to 4 we obtain diagram number 4 by obtaining projectors from previous top view and present front view and from 4 to 5 it is again a reconstruction by applying angle 5 for the corresponding base edge on which it is resting which is DC and diagram number 6 we obtain by uh, extending projectors from present uh, this top view 5 and this front view 3 okay thank you